Hello and welcome to Geek It Plays Maya Tutorials. This is the second episode in the series and in this tutorial we're going to be going into depth integrating Vue Extreme with Maya 8. Now you're probably aware that Vue has its own standalone application and you're probably wondering why you would want to integrate that with Maya. Of course you have the option of creating a scene in Vue and then importing it into Maya but it creates quite a few integration problems when you do it that way. So if you want to integrate this a little bit better we want to use Vue as a plugin and then open it inside Maya. I'll just show you an example of that really quick. Let's open Vue as a plugin and we're going to select a basic atmosphere so it'll be a little bit faster to work with. And let's click OK. And here we have our Vue interface. And what's happening now is Vue and Maya are working together. And what this means is if we go ahead and create something in Vue, let's create a terrain for instance, at the same time you can see the same terrain in Maya. So here we have our terrain in Maya, and you can already start to see some of the benefits of integrating the two. Next let's go ahead and finish the scene that we started. Go back to Vue, increase the size of the terrain, right click edit object let's reset the terrain and add a few hills and some stones and that will give us a nice flat terrain let's open the terrain editor and add an ecosystem and add some plants this one will work and maybe another one traffic okay and increase the density and populate it So when we populate it here, you go back to Maya and you can see it's already started to populate in Maya. This integration is extremely useful, especially in the case where you're creating um, an animation. And I just wanted to show you a few things that you might run into. Let's zoom in on a few of these plants here. Go to the Polygon tab and let's create a sphere right here close to our plants. Actually I'm having a little trouble seeing the sphere so let's try that again. Okay. And I just want to position this just right to show you a couple of points. Okay. In this example I wanted to show you how the plants that we created in the integrated version of you don't detect collision with the object that we created in Maya. So they don't interact and I wanted to show you a couple of tricks that you can perform to help out with that. Um, they're not perfect, but in some environments they look really good. Let's go back and render this, and we'll just take a closer look at our example. And you can see how in this area the plants are embedded, and there's some conflicts. The sphere didn't interact with the plants at all. It should have pushed them aside, and there was no interaction. So that's kind of a problem that we're going to fix. So let's go back to view. Select the main camera, Oops. just the main camera this time, and we're going to move it to the left bottom corner and rotate it so that we can see more of our terrain. A nice feature that Vue has is that the plants will interact with the wind, and so we're going to use a tool called the ventilator. It's actually a very powerful tool. It allows you to produce an effect focused in a local area. And so you can pinpoint where you want the effect. And we're just going to put one right here. And maybe increase the intensity. So it'll push the plants a little bit more. 
Now that we have a ventilator in place, we're going to want to go over here to this view and angle it. This will give us uh, less effect over in this area and more bending here. So it'll make it look more natural, like it's really reacting with the sphere. You do need to experiment a little bit with the intensity settings so that it's um, it, that it'll look right. Approximately 140 on this one will push the plants all the way to the ground. So that gives you some idea of where to start. Some other things we want to do in view is to set some keyframes for an animation. So let's open our animation wizard and set a keyframe. Go about five seconds ahead and set another keyframe. Zoom out and move the ventilator to the right. We're going to make the sphere roll across the terrain. Go back to Maya and we'll see how that's going. We'll zoom out. You'll notice our ventilator is now working in Maya. And we need to adjust the frames. Because we set it to 5 seconds in view, we're going to put it to 96 frames here. And that'll be 5 seconds. And we'll stretch this all the way out. And now you'll notice that the ventilator is going all the way across. Okay. The next step in our animation is to select the sphere and place it directly under the ventilator. right about here. And let's check all of the views to make sure the ventilator is on top. Okay, And we'll set the keyframe here. We'll drag this back to frame 96 and move our sphere to where we want it in this frame. And then set the keyframe on it. So you can see that we have the ball moving with the ventilator. Now let's turn our attention to the camera. This is also a very easy setup. We're going to go to our first frame. Select the main camera. We'll move it into position and add a keyframe. We'll go to the last frame and move the camera a little bit closer. And rotate the camera and set the lens to a telephoto lens. Take a little mental note of some of the different things you can do with your camera to make your scenes more interesting. We've gone from a wide lens to a telephoto lens, rotating and pivoting the camera, and having the camera track or follow an object. Now when we go back to Maya you can see that all the attributes of the camera that we set in view are passed. You notice the camera following the object. Of course, we do need a little bit of work on our synchronization between the object and the ventilator effect. Let's go to this view and it will give you a better example. You see how the ventilator is not staying with the sphere. So we need to link those. Go to our first frame move the object where it should be. We want them to move together so that we won't have any effect where it shouldn't be. So we'll go and set keyframes all the way along here. Move the sphere back to position when it gets out of alignment and set a keyframe. Almost done. And setting all these keyframes is actually the wrong way to do this, but this will work for our purposes right now. So what we have is a ventilator effect from view, 
and it's affecting the plants that we populated from view. And it's also tracking the object we created in Maya. And again, you can link them together or preset the keyframes so the object will stay inside the effect of the ventilator. And again, Vue actually has a very nice integration with Maya when launched as a plugin. And whatever you create in the familiar interface of Vue is instantly translated to Maya without too many problems. However, there are a few glitches, and I want to show you an example of that. Zoom into the sphere. We'll look into these glitches a little bit more in depth in future tutorials. So let's say you take a sphere and you want to add some fur to that. We'll go to the fur tab and a fur. As you can see, it doesn't interact very well with the plants. It doesn't detect any collision. So this is where we start having some problems. In this case, what we need to do is actually build a force around the fur to limit the distance. And the easiest way to do this is to pre-build a transparent cylinder around it, or a larger sphere, and make the fur interact with the other transparent object. Like I said before, it won't detect any collision, so we'll have to pre-build another force around it to make sure it's interacting properly. Okay? So there are definitely ways to get around those glitches and we'll go into some more depth about that in the next tutorial as well as learning more about animation and how to import cameras from Maya to view. Thank you for watching this tutorial by Geek at Play Studio. Please come and visit us on the web at www.geekatplay.com.